everyone, I am Yunus, I'm with the Samsung Mobile S4 Romania and today I'm going to review the Samsung Galaxy S4's camera. As you can see I am driving, I put the phone into a car holder and mounted it on my uh, windshield and uh, as you can see it's not the smoothest drive, I wanted to see how the video image stabilizer performs and I also wanted to show you the dual camera feature, a feature that allows me to use both the rear and the front camera to shoot video at the same time. The video shot with the front camera is the one that uh, it's in the little uh, stamp on the left of the image. So let's get to it. The Galaxy S4 is equipped with two cameras. A 13 megapixels camera on the back for taking photos up to 13 megapixels and it also films uh, videos at uh, full HD at 30 frames per second and uh, it is accompanied by an LED flash. The flash can act as a continuous light uh, when uh, shooting video. On the front we have uh, a 2 megapixels camera for uh, taking photos or shooting video in full HD and it is also used for uh, video calling or video chatting online. The camera app uh, has been uh, redesigned and uh, it has uh, a lot of uh, elements that uh, remind me of the Samsung Galaxy camera. Let me show you. As you can see on the left side, on the left bottom side we have the uh, gallery shortcut, on top we have the uh, arrow that uh, expands uh, the settings and uh, as well uh, the settings uh, shortcut, the advanced uh, settings uh, shortcut on the on the left when uh, the arrow is uh, tapped and on the right we have uh, the mode selector, the shutter activator and uh, the video recording. Speaking of modes uh, as well when uh, choosing a mode uh, on the S4 we find the same type of selector that we have on the Galaxy camera. Uh, the camera app is uh, different from the one uh, on the Samsung Galaxy S3. Let me show you. As you can see there are no, uh, there aren't so many shortcuts on the left side of the screen and um, uh, we don't have this uh, switcher anymore between video and uh, photos on the right side. Uh, now let's take it outside. As I said the front camera shoots full HD videos so this is a sample taken with the front camera. I can uh, see myself on the screen and uh, I'm going to close now to go to the front camera. Switched to the front camera and I, uh, the same I am moving. I will try to zoom in on something. Let me zoom in. When zooming in, uh, the camera has to be held uh, still, even though uh, the image stabilization does uh, most of its job. It's the same with every camera. You have to be very, very sure-handed when uh, zooming in. Now, let's go to the photos. Now I will try to take several shots of the same subject using uh, different uh, modes of the camera. First uh, I will go to auto mode, let's uh, have it checked. And I will uh, take a few pictures of these uh, flowers. Then I will switch to HDR to have uh, richer tones. And. Uh, then I will uh, switch to sports. In theory this mode uh, should give us uh, a faster shutter speed. Speaking of uh, shutter speed we could uh, always go to auto mode and uh, back in settings we can um, we can turn on the burst, mo burst shot uh, mode on. And I did here. We'll uh, grab a focus and keep the button Pressed and it took 20 photos which I will uh, post at the end of uh, this video and uh, now I'm going to move a few yards away just to show you how the um, how the panorama works
I set the camera I can see myself which is good and now I will uh, switch to panorama mode going to menu and then choose panorama you can go all the way through three, uh, 360 degrees or you can uh, stop whenever you feel like Let me go here. and I took a 360 degrees spin and uh, it um, it blended the panorama for me I think you can see that let's go to the gallery app sorry it's kinda hard for me to avoid the tripod I'm not uh, sure you're getting this but I will post it at the end of uh, the video as well now let's go down to take some city shots The Galaxy Z4 camera seems to be one of its strongest points, performing very well in the modes I used. The images are exposed correctly and the colors are represented and saturated very close to natural. There is also a lot of detail and very little noise in the pictures, which means that there is good material for later post-processing or printing. For example, after stitching, a 360 degrees panorama has a 60 megapixels resolution. The HDR mode seems to be my favorite greatly improving the results in difficult situations like strong contrasts or broad sunlight. The drama shot mode, the burst shot which is suitable for fast action capturing and the 360 degrees panorama are excellent additions and the results are excellent. This is my short review for the Samsung Galaxy S4's camera. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.